Alright, so here's how you get your personal hotspot up and running. You go to the settings. Let's see, let me get this in focus. Personal hotspot on an iPhone 4 or 4S, the same deal. Then you're going to go to this where it says personal hotspot. And if you don't have that on, go under cellular, you'll see that it'll have an option here for personal hotspot. You see that? That needs to be enabled, okay? And sometimes if, if the um, hotspot is not coming up on your other computer that you're trying to connect, you just need to go ahead and, here and toggle this on and off, okay? Or, t yeah, toggle that on and off. Or go to here where it says personal hotspot and toggle it on and off there. You can set your password here, whatever you want. On this one, I've got it set to that. So you can go in and change that if you want. And okay, once you've got that running, uh, there's different options. You can you can um, also have this hooked up with a USB cable. And that's a very reliable way to get. Okay, so we are hooked up to the iPhone, as it says right here. Okay, so I did that, hooking up to the Wi-Fi network. Um, if that if you have trouble with that, again, you can hook up your USB cable straight, and it'll still come up in your network. Where did it go? Network preferences. Okay, so those are the two ways to do it. Uh, you can also hook up your iPad. It's really easy. Just go to the settings, same deal. Look for it. Okay, the next thing I want to go over real quick is how to set your voicemail. Another thing is you can tell by this little blue bar at the top that it the computer is hooked up. This little flashing deal. And if you ever need to turn it off, you just click here and turn off the hotspot like that, and it'll unhook it. So again, that that's a battery hog, so you want to be aware of that uh, anytime you're hooked up. And I also want to highly recommend that you don't watch a lot of movies or download movies, or you know, because that'll use up your 3G, and at some point it'll throttle down to a little less level. So you want to—it's great for email and you know, just surfing the net and stuff. But if you just like watch videos on it all the time, it'll it'll use it up. Even YouTube's yeah. or something. Uh, yeah, YouTube's less less likely. Yeah, but it, I mean, if you're on the road and you're doing it all the time, it'll, okay. it's not going to block you. It'll just, the speed.